Jeff Trow Will Travel, Archaeology by Tracy Bronson. An overview of my presentation will include what is archaeology, what I imagine about this profession, the type of industry and jobs within that industry, education required to be an archaeologist, my goals, what I expect the job to be like in earning potential, what I discovered and will do next, my personal story, and conclusion. Archaeology is fundamentally the study of humanity and its past. Archaeologists study things that were created, used, or changed by humans. They do this by studying the material remains, the stuff we leave behind, such as lithic tools, a simple hut dwelling, a skeleton covered with gold jewelry, or a pyramid that majestically rises from the desert floor. Sometimes archaeologists study contemporary societies in order to shed light on those that flourished in the past. Since as young as I can remember, I have wanted to be an archaeologist. I have many images flashing across my mind, judgments, and impressions of archaeology. The images that most of us grew up with, and I must admit most of mine, are of Dr. Indiana Jones, and also that of Howard Carter in 1922, finding the boy king Tutankhamun. I do have some sense though and realize archeology span is much, much more satisfying and more fantastic than what film images impress upon us. Archeology span and the jobs it entails include excavations, an archaeologist's job involves fieldwork, part of which entails carefully digging or excavating for artifacts. When and where an excavation takes place is contingent upon the archaeologist's research project and the local weather. Next is data collection. Before, during, and after an archaeologist dig, they collect data about the archaeological site, record interviews, and make notes of their observations. Conservation is also a big part, for the artifacts discovered and obtained through excavation undergo a conservation process in a lab. They are cleaned and restored by trained conservators, and as the items are stabilized, additional notes are made to record their characteristics. Archaeologists are typically actively involved in conservation activities and may also take measures to ensure laws exist to preserve the sites. Publishing and teaching. Upon examining all of the materials they have collected and interpreting the data, archaeologists make conclusions based on evidence and research. They connect the pieces of the puzzle together and present their findings through books, reports, and journal articles. Many archaeologists are professors and spend more time teaching than in the field. While a master's degree is acceptable for some positions requiring less technical experience, most archaeologists need a doctorate degree in order to direct projects or to teach at universities. Education and training required. Though archaeologists generally need at least a master's degree, the archaeology field offers employment opportunities for those who have bachelor's, master's, or doctoral degrees. A bachelor's degree is generally required for entry-level archaeology positions, such as field assistants, surveyor, or museum technicians. Aspiring archaeologists typically pursue degrees in anthropology, which consist of studies in archaeology, cultural anthropology, biological anthropology, and linguistics. These programs combine classroom and laboratory instruction, and they may offer practical experience through fieldwork programs. Graduate degrees, masters, or doctoral degrees typically qualify students for upper level positions in museums, archeology span firms, and government sectors. PhD degrees are usually required for teaching positions in universities and curator positions in museums. Master's degree programs typically take one to two years of post-baccalaureate coursework to complete, and doctoral degree programs may last an additional two to three years. 
Archaeologists may gain fieldwork experience necessary for many positions in the occupation by completing internship programs. Internships and similar training programs may be available through field schools, museums, government agencies, and archaeological associations. There are many colleges and universities that offer degrees in anthropology. My current plan is to use the Direct Connect program with UCF. I can then continue to take my classes online while working. Lake Sumter State College has a UCF office and counselor on campus. This will make it even easier to register and to speak with an advisor. Based on my interest and skills assessment, I have a matched score of 71% for anthropology and archaeology, and it ranks number four on my career match list. Many of the interests and skills that my assessment says that I possess are in the job description for an archaeologist. Depending on the archaeologist's specialty area, common duties may include surveying sites, using a variety of methods, including field walking, geophysical surveys, and aerial photography. Working on field excavations or digs usually as part of a team, using a range of digging equipment, project managing and excavation, including managing teams of diggers, recording sites using drawings, detailed notes, and photography, analyzing finds by grouping, identifying, and classifying them. When I completed the comp career comparison, my skills were almost identical in numbers to an anthropologist. Since archeology span has always been my goal, I find that this is a 100% match. Someone once told me that archaeology is one of the dullest and most boring professions in the world. Clearly, they haven't worked in accounting. To me, archaeology is a search for truth and the study of what life is. Knowing our past, we can choose wisely which direction we should go for our future. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, archaeologists and anthropologists were expected to experience a 19% growth in employment from 2012 to 2022. This growth was predicted to be spurred by increases in construction. Archaeologists should be needed to confirm that historical locations and structures are not affected by construction projects. The average annual salary for archaeologists and anthropologists was $61,420 as of 2013. I have had experience being on a dig for a day while I was living in England. A friend that is an archaeologist invited me to a dig that he was on in Canterbury. I was given my own little area that was once thought to have been a ditch filled with rubbish. I happily spent the day carefully digging, trying to make my trench look as neat as everyone else's. After about four hours, I uncovered an amazing bone comb. The trainee that was next to me was so jealous. She said she had been there for over six months and hadn't found anything remotely as big as that find. This confirmed to me that that was something that I should pursue in my life. At the age of 46, I have finally decided to get my degree. It's not necessarily about changing my profession. I haven't even really thought about what I will do once I have my degree. I just know that I want to be an archaeologist and I have taken the first steps. An analogy that comes to mind is that of entering an unexplored Egyptian tomb with a torch or that of taking a leap of faith into the unknown. I may end up broke and disenchanted or I may become enriched with knowledge, glowing with happiness and success. At this point in time, Neither of those two ends matter. Only the adventure of the journey matters to me.